Hi everyone! It's time for more calculus fun and in this video we're going to find the area of this region R. Now notice we can't just count the boxes on this graph. We've got this irregular shape that's bounded between two graphs and guess how we find this area? Calculus! I mean this is so cool that you can find the area of this irregular shape all using calculus, so stick around in this video for how we can find the area of this shaded region using an integral and therefore using calculus. And in this video, we're actually going to use a calculator to find this one because you'll see there's some decimals involved and it's harder to find this one by hand. But if you'd like to watch a video that I've made of how to find the area in a bounded region using calculus, but finding it by hand, not a calculator, click here to see that video. So let's go on to this problem. It says, let R be the region bounded by the functions f of x equals 4x squared minus 10 and g of x equals negative 2x squared as shown in the diagram below. And you can see that bounded region R in the diagram. We want to find the area of region R. Now, f of x is the function 4x squared minus 10. That's going to be a parabola opening up. So that's this bottom function here f of x. g of x is negative 2x squared, and because that a value of negative 2 is negative, that's going to be a parabola opening down, so you can see that that's this function here, this parabola opening down. Now in order to find the area of a two-dimensional region, you've got a couple options. When we set up our integral, you can either take take the top function minus the bottom function, and then it would be a dx problem. Or you can take the right function minus the left function, and it would be a dy problem. So whenever I get to a problem, the first thing I ask myself is, should I do top function minus bottom function, or should I do right function minus left function? And in this problem, it is going to be a top minus bottom. The reason being is if I were to take right minus left, well, up on the top, I'd be taking g of x minus itself, g of x, and then on the bottom, if I went right minus left, I'd be taking f of x minus itself. So that doesn't make sense. But anywhere, I would be taking top minus bottom, it would always be g of x minus f of x, so that's the ticket, we're gonna be doing top minus bottom. As I mentioned, we're going to be using our calculator. So what I did is I went ahead on the graphing calculator and I typed in f of x of 4x squared minus 10 and g of x of negative 2x squared so that we can take a look at the graph. And you can see that here, the blue function will be the 4x squared minus 10 and the red function will be negative 2x squared. And there we have it, this graph. And we wanna find the area of that bounded region. The first thing we need to find is the points of intersection. As I mentioned, we're gonna be using the calculator for this. You can find it by hand. And like I said, you can watch this video to where I find the area of a shaded region by hand. But since I'm using the calculator, I need to first find the intersection points. So I'm going to press second trace and go down to number five and I'm going to find the intersection point here on the left first. And I can see that it's an X value of negative 1.290994. Keep that number in mind. Now notice I'm using the X values because I'm doing top minus bottom, which means I'm going to add an infinite amount of rectangles from left to right. So it's going to be a DX problem. So I want to use the intersection values that are X's. Now let's find the intersection point on the right. And it looks pretty, looks pretty symmetrical, so I'm guessing it's going to be the same x value, just positive. And sure enough, it is 1.2909944, same number, just positive. So that's what we need everybody to set up this integral to find the area. So to find the area, I'm going to use an integral because that means I'm going to sum up an infinite amount of rectangles. So envision these, but an infinite amount from the first x value, which was negative 
9944 and then positive 1.290944. Four, four. And as I mentioned, we're going to take the top function minus the bottom function. The top function was g of x, which is going to be negative 2x squared minus the bottom function, which is 4x squared minus 10. I'm going to show you something. That right there is a common error my students make. Why? Because they don't put the g of x function in parentheses, so warning, be careful there. And then, of course, make sure to put your dx right there. As I mentioned, I am not finding this by hand. I am going to plug it into the calculator. And if you're finding this video useful so far, remember, I post weekly calculus videos. So if you subscribe, you'll be able to see those weekly videos and improve your calculus learning. Like I said, we're going to use the calculator for this one. So let's jump over to the calculator where I've typed this in so we can see what the answer is. And here it is, I've typed it in from the lower bound of negative 1.29, et cetera, to the upper bound of the top function minus, and it looks like I'm in the way, so I'm just gonna move myself right down here. You can see the top function minus the bottom function dx, and with an enter here, there is my answer. I'm going to round to three decimal places. So 17.213, it looks like, is my final answer. So the area is 17.213. And how cool is that? We used an integral, we used calculus to find the area of this irregular shape that was bounded between two curves, this region R. I hope you found that video helpful. I hope that helped you with your learning of calculus. And if you did, make sure to give it a like. Comment below about any questions you have or any comments you have about the video. And make sure to subscribe because I post videos just like this every week and that'll help you learn calculus. Thanks for watching everyone and we will see you in the next video. Bye!